Hey there, partner. Now, you're the strangest thing I've seen all day. Hey, friend. Ain't you just a butcher? You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, 
I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies, we know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Now, now, take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it, all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly.
Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 For all of us. Yay. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> His philosophy hey. on biology, biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to this speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Well, you always was Bo, a cocky little... Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. All of us. And what is America? We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. 
Was your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me.
going on out here, Arthur? Good. We'll make some money off it. Good job, Mr. Morgan. I don't think this law disguise is fooling anyone. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. You all right? Yeah, I like this spot. It's a shame we never robbed that bank in Valentine, though. Hey, I got some loan money. Put it in the box, Mr. Morgan. Will do. You need help there, old man? Come on. It's this way. On me. met these crazies before. You have been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. 
Mrs. Adler. Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I oh. haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Yeah. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. Of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I could see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like it's closest to you. Could be. Worth follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to oh. me.
Let's go, boy. Make sure you bring the sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. You see anything through your scope? Just a moment. When you've had a look, tell me what to do. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, and then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Let's give the word. We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Soon as you shoot, I'll go.
quick. And if men in the area would have heard that, they might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? You got anything? Oh, yeah. This one looks good. Search it. Search it. Search the crates, Arthur. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. coming out of Shady Bell in one of our wagons.
We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. You look just the opposite. The goddamn. <laughs> Off, let's go! <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yeah. yeah. Go, go! Let's haul! Oh, oh! Okay, then. Keep it together. Hey! Stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one hour, what? Oh, let's go! Shut up, my bitch! Ah! 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 Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. That's my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. If he wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me, we had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... No, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. my hide not once but twice what you want Micah nothing just saying thank you brother I can't call you brother can't I I think I like you even less when you're friendly you're the first person ever told me that mm.
Okay, I'll catch you later then. All okay. right, Morgan. You okay, Morgan? I think so. Good morning, Arthur. Talk to Lenny. Ah, okay. You okay, Uncle? Arthur! Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leaves. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the breakaway place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. So what now, Dutch? So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. We're not home free, but you think they're... For now, long enough for us to figure out what we're doing. Susan! Morning, Arthur. When is the chow bell gonna ring? It'll be ready big when pot. it's I'm ready. Starved. Morning, Close. Arthur. How you doing, oh, hey. Arthur? You okay? Fine, Micah. Good. So, I've been worried about you. I really have. Me? Why? Oh, you know, just the usual reasons. I'm here for you, brother. You okay, Reverend? Hello, gentlemen. Mr. Bell? I don't understand that lawman get up. Okay. <laughs> easy, man. Easy. Make it easy, man. <laughs> All right, boy. A word with you, Morgan. Arthur, we need to what talk to you. We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. 
Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, follow me. Work a town and not hit the bank? 
<laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. Shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. this through. Drop Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Keep it down now. We're here. Not sure how well I take the coat, Kylo. Sorry, boy. Nothing for you to worry about. I'm coming through. Okay, let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. Karen, go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? So which one? Don't care what you do with that mask on, just don't involve me. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Sure, this is quite the play. He said okay, we're going. 
No, hold on. Wait till she's got them real down. Would you care to? I was child, and it's just, I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn right. hands go. up! Go! Stop it! Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! needs to get a move on! Okay. Okay. Too goddamn <laughs> slow! Shut <laughs> up, a bitch! Hurry up! Come on! Shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. Uh, Open the lockbox says now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Uh, yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you uh, better be quick. <clears throat> You shut the hell up and stay still! As I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Bill, how's it going in there? We're getting there. Few more minutes. Just yet.
That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Last one. Good. We gotta move. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. 
Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is Downs. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, aren't you? I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. 
I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. The same I'm down to the girls. scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Away with you, silly man. Oh, no, no. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. I was five years younger. Or a thousand dollars richer. Well, I'd marry you. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. Evening, Arthur. A moment. I just want to say thank you to Miss Karen, Bill, Lenny, Arthur. They're doing their jobs. The rest of us, uh, we should hang our heads in shame. They remembered to rob the goddamn bank in Valentine. <laughs> rest of us. The rest of us are slipping. Pride. Never forget the pride in our work. You four, I salute you. We should do something fun this evening.
Said he's short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! Ain't right there. Clean that blood off of you, you fool. Have some standards. Oh, hi, Arthur. For the love of God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind.